Hey, you pick up your pull stack or maybe some things off the stands, you get home, you start to go into your comic and you discover there's a problem. Uh, one of the pages is folded, had a misprint, some extra little tag, a chad of paper is hanging off your comic. What do you do? Have you just stumbled across an amazing collector's edition? Uh, no. Hey there, this is Perch. Uh, probably a short video. I get this question, uh, not a lot, but, but a reasonable amount of time, which is, if you buy a comic, you, you grab it out of your pull box, you take it home, you open it up, and you discover, and I think anyone who's collected or bought comics for any length of time has had this happen at least once, the most common, you get this little kind of strange fold on a page where it, you know, the, the page got wrinkled and kind of, you know, corner folded up, and when you unfold it, now you've got this extra little batch of hanging off paper on the comic, uh, or, you know, one page had a printing error or a staple didn't go through kind of the last page, and so you've got this weird kind of dangly page going on. There's there's a few different ways you can have printer mistakes or errors in your comic, and oftentimes when they try and get fancy with uh, with cardstock or lenticular covers or any of that kind of stuff, the, the, the errors seem to increase a bit. Um, I, I actually, I, I've argued with this in a couple face group, uh, Facebook retailer groups before. Uh, that's my observation. I'm curious what you guys think. Hey, leave me a comment below if, if you agree or disagree with this. I'd, I'd love to know. where do, When you find errors, is there a correlation between kind of fancier books or is it just, just random? What do you, what do you see? I, I, over time, you know, slightly higher on the, the books that have gimmicks going on with the printing. That's what I've seen. Anyway, uh, the... People have asked, "Hey, have I just stumbled on to an amazing collector's edition of a comic? Have I have I found something really, really valuable?" And I'm trying to remember. Right? There's some. I, I want to say Wizard, but I think that's wrong. Some publication, maybe it's Comic Book Resource. I don't know. Uh, they ran a a article or a news or a little. They answered a letter. I maybe it was Wizard. And they said, yeah, those issues can be collectible. Yeah, you, you know, sometimes, you know, those printing errors, you know, are like, it's like the upside down stamp. It, it can be, it can be super, super valuable. Um, the answer is it's not. I, I think, you know, there's a small chance, you know, one of two things is happening. I've known some shady comic retailers to kind of get those errors and, and win the, reader or the customer tries to return them go hey you've got a collector's edition here you don't you don't want to you want to let go of that no you you gotta you know you, you need to hang on to that one that one's worth something uh but they're lying uh that's that's not actually true and i mean just with your own eyes if you go into a comic store and you're looking up on the wall and you see all those kind of rare comics you know the ones they kind of have hanging up um or ones with uh, signatures or they've been autographed or any of those kinds of things going on um, you'll notice you don't see a section there of like misprints. That's not that's not something that exists on that wall. Um, it, they're not they're not they're not valuable. Now, if they misprinted something to where the comic character was suddenly like swearing like a sailor, or you know, in the X Men comic, they accidentally printed a panel that had Superman flying around on Krakoa. You know, that stuff's probably going to be worth super super amounts of money. But that's not what's going on. You're talking about just a basic production error, and unfortunately, it's not worth anything. Um, it's you know it maybe uh, there, maybe there's a sucker out there who will be convinced into you know they've they've got the next upside. It's that upside down stamp. It gets everybody confused. It's I think it's a, like a biplane, and it was printed upside down, and it's like this is a rare production error, super super valuable. All the rest. That's what everybody thinks about, but that's just not that's not what happens in comics. So you're, you're not going to be able to get that. Um, no, so what should you do with this comic? You should go back to the store and return it. Um, most retailers will return it for you. Uh, most retailers don't like to do returns. Uh, they, and for good reason. You've taken a comic, you've put it in a bag, you've taken it home, you've taken it out, maybe you've read them through it a little bit. Now, you've read, a, you've read something, you've deteriorated, you know, even if you're very careful, you know, reading every page with tweezers, uh, the value has decreased slightly, the timing of the issue going from store to your house to back again has decreased the value a little bit. So most retailers don't like returns or just won't accept them. Um, they, you know, if you, if you bought something bagged and boarded, that's, you know, maybe the back issue has a little bit of a different story. If you 
bought something that's not as advertised or, or what, or, you know, there's, there's always things. Most retailers will make exceptions for returns. Uh, if you're a known customer, you know, they're, they're feeling charitable that day or they just want your business. Accepting a return that's an honest return is, uh, is good, good company practice. If somebody bought a comic and it turned out they opened it up and they didn't realize that the you know, regular creative team had been stealth replaced by some garbage creative team. Um, I know I had some people with Captain America a bit ago where, you know, it's like, hey, we're going along with uh, Mr. Kubert. Great, great, great. And then suddenly a, a thoroughly terrible artist shows up. Um, yeah, those things uh, can happen. Absolutely, those things can happen. Uh, and then, you know, most retailers will say, hey, you know, yeah, well, you know, they don't want to necessarily accept it because they don't know who they're going to sell it to. But but they, they also value business. Most will do that. Um, if you come and you have an actual production error with your comic, your comic was printed and screwed up in some way internally, nearly every retailer will accept that, return it, get it traded out, uh, especially if you're asking for a trade for just a, a normal comic, they'll do it. Um, if there's now, what, what does a retailer do? Do they just, are they stuck with just crap comics? Well, um, you know, sort of, yes, they can go through a return process with diamond. If there's a number of them, the question becomes, is it worth the hassle to return these comics to Diamond and put up with all that nonsense and, and uh, you know, who knows what will happen? It's usually not. It's it's just not worth the trouble, especially if it's one issue, two issues. If it's like 20 or 30, then it becomes more retail. You know, people will deal with Diamond there. But um, generally speaking, it's it's not worth the trouble to get this done. It just becomes a source of kind of argument and, you know, the, the ongoing hatred of between shop and diamond that that exists as long as dogs and cats have, have feuded the comic shop and diamond uh, to have that kind of relationship but i mean just so i mean like i said short video not much more to say on the topic other than hey if you get this um don't be fooled don't whatever you do don't buy one in a shop that is a production error again if it's a production error that's got the characters cursing or you've got the wrong company represented inside the company the comic somehow then super but it's not worth anything. It's it's not something you should invest in. And if you're holding on to these, I, I wouldn't. But it, it's your call, I mean, whatever you like. Um, I have known many a retailer with these kind of hanging chads to carefully take the comic uh, to a you know with their exacto knife and just chop off that chad and uh, and and quote unquote fix it. That's happened a lot. Um, anything can happen there. But that's that's the. the that's it. <laughs> That's all I can say on the topic. Uh, not worth very much. And, uh, you know, return them if you get them and, and just get yourself a comic that, that you want. Uh, any questions on this? Any any comments, thoughts? You know, boring topic. But, hey, well, I shouldn't say it. Somebody asked this question legitimately. I don't want you to feel bad. It's a, it's a question people have, uh, but, but quickly answered. I'm stalling at this point. Hey, like, subscribe. Um, Click the bell for notification if you'd like to be bothered by those things. Uh, I don't, but you might. And uh, follow me on Twitter at Comic Perch. Thanks for listening.